few weeks ago, the motor went out of my front air conditioner on my 1999 uh, Bounder 34J, and I replaced the motor, and now I'm gonna do the same thing to the rear. This isn't, I don't think, gonna be a tutorial. It's a very easy replacement of the fan blowing motor and the capacitor for it. And when it comes to capacitors and just charging them, there's plenty of YouTube videos on there. I do suggest that uh, you kill the power to your RV and learn how to discharge the capacitors uh, before you install them or uninstall them. So uh, we're only gonna need a few tools. This, like I said, was a much easier job than I thought, but these are the tools we're gonna need today. I have some gloves here, my wire cutters, needle nose just in case. Some Allen wrenches, I use this one. It's 530 seconds primarily for moving the, the fans and the squirrel cage from the motor. Some sockets here, deep well, 1130 seconds, and, uh, and a nine millimeter and matching sockets here. A big screwdriver for my air conditioner shroud and little ones for the motor itself and then the flat tip just in case. One thing that I didn't mention that you're gonna need are wire nuts. So we're gonna get all this together and get up there and take the fan motor off of the RV. First and foremost, before doing any kind of work on your RV, especially with air conditioning something like that electrical, kill the short power, shut off your breakers inside. Turn around the windows, be real careful because you could have wasps in here. No wasps, just toast. Okay, I'm gonna take this off here, take this green clip off, and then hopefully this guy will slide. Last one came out pretty easy. Just lightly tap it off, it's coming off. Be real careful not to hit your coil left and right just real easy gentle take your time there go just set this fan back in there like this take this bolt off here okay be careful not to lose your bolts okay we're gonna go and take out this bracket here move this bracket here and cut these wires we're gonna go ahead and cut these wires. Okay. I'm gonna keep all your screws together. And there you have it. Be real careful, you got the squirrel cage on the other end. There we go. Be very careful doing that part. Here you go, baby. Okay, I'm coming down. I'm just gonna take all my tools with me so nothing falls off the roof. Put this bracket here. Ready? It's out. Okay, pull the motor out. Wasn't too hard at all. What we're gonna do now is remove this squirrel cage here. There's a little hole right here in it. See this hole? You can come at like this. So you can just spin it out. Okay. What I'm gonna do before I remove this, clean this up real good here. I'm gonna mark where this shroud is on here. Just remember it's to the front of my line. That way I can align the squirrel cage properly so it blows well. Okay, this one came off real easy. Okay, and we're gonna clean this up here. So an upper bolt here. There's no way to do this without ripping this styrofoam. Just be careful. You need it. So expose the bolt there. There'll be one underneath. Okay, and that's that. There's your motor. Now the bolt patterns, as you can see here, pay attention. They're upper, lower, at least on my bounder, 99. And then you want this bracket to be at the bottom. These bolts need to have their extensions out on this side because it's supposed to fit up flat against this panel. So you don't want these bolts blocking that. So I'm gonna have to do a little configuration on the new motor. But for now, this motor's junk. Okay, here what I'm gonna do is fix the bolt pattern so it can these need to be flush in the back. So this is the back of the thing. It needs to set flush against this plate. And yeah, I'm pretty sure it goes that way there. The bolts were upper and lower. There's a minor adjustment that has to be made in this. So these two bolts need to turn around. Again, I think this is 11 16 
must have had some Loctite on it or something it did. Okay, so this bolt we're gonna turn around so it's flush. Okay, that should be good. And again, we're going for the upper and lower. Okay, so everything's flush, mounting there. Now, if I remember correctly, these have a little bit of a discrepancy as far as where the bolt holes, but as you can see, that's super close. I worried about that at first, but really, just make that minor adjustment on the base plate right there, just here. It's a very small adjustment. I have a line of screws there. Mine are in the upper and lower. So, and I already said this on the GoPro footage, but you see the adjustment is very minor. So I'm gonna have to drill that out. Almost. There you have it. Okay, now what I'm gonna do here, is I'm gonna measure how far from this it was to my mark, which is like two and a quarter inch. I'll make sure I come back two and a quarter inch on this one, just to get a decent alignment for my squirrel cage here. So it's gonna mark there. That's pretty good. Find the flat part here. I end up with this flat part here. Yeah, I think it's to the front of that line. What's that line about right? There. Take our handy dandy thing. Thank you, Tamara, for cleaning the squirrel cage. Make sure it's not crooked. So what you want to do is loosen it. And give it a good little rocky back and forth. Give that a nice little tightening. Okay, that's that. In here is the capacitor. In here's the capacitor. It matches the specs for the engine and came with it. So I suggest you use it. Also, if you're not familiar, YouTube, a video on how to discharge capacitor. You just make sure you look that up. And so now we're gonna get up on the roof and put this all back in. Okay, that's good there. Let's get this fan back on. Okay, so now let's do the wires. So now I'm gonna remove this panel box again. Make sure your power is disconnected from shore power. Make sure your breakers are off. This is where you can get shocked. You don't feel comfortable this doing this part leave it to a professional i am not a professional at all <laughs> i just watch enough youtube videos that i feel comfortable doing this <sighs> okay so i got this door over that screw gave me some trouble what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the black wire so we're gonna cut here black wire want the black wire This one in here. Okay, so here's the capacitor. Hopefully this doesn't shock the f out of me. Go. Let's get all these guys out of the way. This guy's gonna sit right back in here. And you do have to go one more bolt hole. You bolt hole. <laughs> Okay, so black wire. So black wire in. It's 
pretty simple. It's five wires, two brown, uh, one red, one white, one black. I do one wire at a time. So now I'm gonna do the red wire. Pull it through and send through the red wire. Red wire to red wire. And finally the white wire. Pull it through and send in your white. All five wires are connected. So we're gonna button her back up. I can feel the rain coming. Oh, it's cold. And there you have it. Seems to be working good. Not a terrible amount of vibration. I do need to tighten down that bracket. All right, let's review. Uh, that wasn't too bad of a install. Those air conditioners are 21 years old and the motors are the originals, so it really wasn't too hard. Now I've replaced both of them. The motor wasn't the exact motor. I couldn't find the exact one, but the only thing that was different is the first motor was 2.9 amps and the other one is 3.4. So 0.5 of an amp doesn't make a difference. I don't think it does. Other than that, all the specs were the same. So we'll put the motor in a link in the description below. A capacitor comes with it. It's a really easy fix, very inexpensive, and you can do it with very little know-how. I didn't know anything about it. And then I went ahead and there's the second one I did. It really isn't that bad. Part of the problem with all the RVs is, you know, things breaking, you have to fix them, find a new replacement part. I thank you all for watching. Uh, if this helped you at all, give us a like, give us a subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Trusty GoPro. Like, and now I am screwing in the... It's so metal. Ah, How do you feel about it? Oh, so close. Tricky, this part. It's out. Oh, I can feel the cold. Holy shit. You bolt hole. <laughs>